Hi everyone, this is Day and welcome to Spanglish Generation. Today's video will be added to my series, The Real Cuba which features videos that are helpful when you're wanting to understand more about the real life of Cubans on the island and the real Cuban experience with a socialist slash communist slash totalitarian regime. If you are new, welcome. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel that I think you're going to find very interesting. And if you're familiar with my content and find value in the videos that I upload every single Wednesday, I would really appreciate it if you hook it up and support by subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. And if you feel the message is important, you can also support by liking, commenting, and of course, sharing. I recently asked my Instagram people about topics regarding Cuba that they were interested in knowing more about. I have to say I got really, really good suggestions. I just love the way some of you are engaging with the conversation and I am ready to do my best to help you understand. Trust me, I am learning so much during this process myself that it's crazy. So I am very excited to make these videos for you, so stay tuned. One of my Instagrammers asked, can you talk about how the chivatones work? I don't understand it. And trust me, no one really does. Because like everything in Cuba, it's complicated. But let's try to make sense out of a senseless situation. That's what I'm here for. The actual word chivato is a young goat. In Cuba and other Latin American countries as well, chivato or chiva or chivaton is used to describe a snitch. I can only assume it's because goats make that crazy noise that can be indiscreet, you know? You know how they say snitches get stitches? Well, not in Cuba. The Cuban system actually promotes and sometimes even rewards people who tell on other people. Anyone could be a chivato. It's not an official title. It's just the name given to people known for snitching. But some people are more prone to telling on others. Who are the most likely chivatos? The usual suspect. Snitches are usually people who have a special interest in gaining something in exchange or showing their loyalty to the government. Even if it's just accumulating cool points to be on an influential person's good side. They are usually the people assigned as CDR leaders, which is the neighborhood surveillance program called the CDR Committee of the Defense of the Revolution or people who belong to revolutionary organizations. By snitching, you're showing you can be trusted if that makes any sense whatsoever. We also have to take into account that the system in Cuba, the extreme poverty and the ridiculous laws, like you can't sell your cow's milk, make it easy to people in engage in activities that are against the law and therefore gives the opportunity to anyone who has something personal against you to rat you out simply out of spite. That happens all the time and it's sad. For example, if a person has cows and after turning in the state's share, they are selling the remaining milk as a side hustle, someone who has it out for them could chivatearlos, which is the verb for snitching, and they'd be in severe trouble because selling your cow's milk is not legal. The government is also known for threatening people into becoming official chivatos or government agents. Activists and dissident organizations are constantly infiltrated by what seem to be regular people, but are really there as informants, which is the elegant word for chivato, but snitch is the most accurate translation. Many celebrities and people with certain privileges and popularity that no one has are accused of being chivatos because it seems like they can walk on water where everybody else drowns. So it raises the suspicion that they are collaborating with the government. It saddens me to say this as a Cuban and as a human. Cubans have severe trust issues because of this practice. And unfortunately, that is one of the main reasons why the opposition has had such a hard time gaining momentum. I remember when I was little and we were getting ready to leave Cuba in the late 80s, my parents asked me not to tell anyone and to keep the lowest profile possible. And this happens a lot with people trying to leave legally 
or illegally. Because if anyone found out about your plans, they could find a way to rat you out or snitch about the simplest things. For example, one of my mom's friends gifted her milk. But in Cuba, you have to be careful even about gifting something because they could accuse you for selling it. Who's going to deny that? You have no proof. Now, why would someone rat on a pastor and his wife? It's simple. Spite or envy that they were legally getting the opportunity to escape that hell. I'll tell you that crazy story some other time. But for now, I really do hope that you have a better understanding on this topic. And please feel free to ask any questions. If I don't have the answers, I will investigate for you. As I always say, people don't know what they don't know. So let's help them know together. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. You are amazing and I love you guys. See you next time. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go. Stand